More than seven months after Hurricane Maria, the last 2% of Puerto Rico's customers are still waiting for the lights to come back on, some 90,000 people. Most live in mountainous areas like this, where restoring power has been tough and slow. Lines have to be strung for miles along mountain roads and across forested valleys. Israel Cedeño, his wife Maria Rivera, and their two boys live in the mountains above Calle. Powerless, Cedeño says he spent all his savings buying gas for their generator, $5,000. They recently resorted to candles for light and to collecting firewood to cook rice and beans. I don't know when the power is going back. It's hard, but it's coming. I can tell you that I see the people working. I see the helicopters. I see the helicopter with a pole. This 85-foot pole is beginning its one and a half mile journey by air. The terrain is inaccessible by truck, so the only way to get materials up the mountain is by helicopter. We're doing the type of poles where they can't get the equipment up to, so you gotta do it with a helicopter, because uh, you know, you'd have to build a road and so if we can do it in 10 minutes where it would take them two weeks to get one pole up there, you know? Looking down from up here, you get a sense of why. And now a feat of precision. Pilots will lower the pole into an eight foot gap between two power lines. To go set the pole, workers had to cut a path down the mountain. This crew is with Power Secure, one of the few mainland contractors still on the island. There's plenty of work still ahead. To get out of the zone up here, probably two to three months to be able to get it all back up. You know. <laughs> the, the guys already asked me, we're going to be here for hurricanes. I said, probably so. Hurricane season begins on June 1st, and tens of thousands of people still in the dark are getting nervous. <laughs> to help the crews work faster, residents of these mountains often cook them lunch. The food is so rich that some linemen jokingly complain they're gaining weight. That lady down here, when she did the chicken, it was good. I mean, it was like falling apart. Oh, yeah. I liked it. That's probably my favorite one. Well, that's the cheeseburger yesterday. <laughs> After lunch, or this crew will restore power today. to the home of one of their cooks. Maria Gonzalez Ortiz says it's been a long wait. She's excited, but she didn't expect to also be this nervous when the lights came back on. Power crews say these celebrations are one of the best parts of the job. It's a reward for days or weeks spent running lines to these neighborhoods. Though it takes more and more effort to energize fewer and fewer houses, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers says it expects everyone on the island will have their power back by the end of May. Not everyone is confident that deadline will be met. Back on the other side of the mountain, Israel Cedeño and his family hope to get electricity soon. But for now, they're stuck powerless and waiting.